Hello and greetings from Percentilers. My name is Mayank and you are watching the 45th video of CAT LRDI challenge for CAT 2020 login hours affair. Why you will know soon. So there are three slides. The information is given in three slides. This is the first one, the second one and the third one. Before starting with our work, I would like to let you know guys that if you wish to join our very active WhatsApp group in which you can find these sets in the PDF format and also you can witness uh, active discussion of hundreds of questions on daily basis. The link of that group is mentioned in the bio of the video. Please click and join and shoot your preparation. Okay, so before moving on to the questions, I hope you have read the set and have give, given it a try. And now we are going to do our bit on this. So you can see that the second table is some of login hours of the people working in production, in sales, in services. If I start with production, say, so in the morning, the total number of hours is 1.5. We can see in the morning column that either there is one or two or zero. And at one place, there is one point something, which means that it cannot be the sum of one and 0.5. It has to be this person. So this person is definitely in production. And we also know that this number, this question mark is nothing but five. So 1.5 here. So from production, we already have 1.5, 3 and 0 out of the total of 1.5, 5 and 1.3. So the remaining is 0, 2 and 1.3. A lot of people have 0 in the morning, but out of those, only one has 2 and 1 point something. So I guess this makes sure that worker 3 also works in production. So he has 0, 2 and 1 point something. So this makes it clear that it has to be 1.3 then. And that packs up workers 3 and 5 make production. So these are the two working in production. Okay, so production is packed up. Then comes sales. In sales, uh, there is only 1 hour in morning, 2.1 in afternoon and 5.25 in the evening. Fine. So 5.25 is a pretty big number. And uh, there is only one person left in which after decimal something is possible. So I think that makes it clear that worker 7 is definitely in sales. If we talk about sales, the total is 1, 2.1 and 5.25. So worker 7 has 0, 0 and 1.25. So remaining is 1, 2.1 and 4. Okay. Now we already have 1.25. So we need a sum of 4 in the evening for sure. And sum of 4 can be given only by these two. Hence, we can make sure that these two are also in sales. Hence, we have uh, the sum of this and this to be 2.1. It could be 1.5 and 0.6 or 1.7 and 0.4 or 1.9 and 0.2, whatever. Okay. And this we already have. So this packs up sales. So we have three people in sales, workers 1, 7 and 8 which tells me that the remaining workers that are uh, 2, 4 and 6 must be in service. And let us just verify it. So workers service has 3, 5 and 6 hours. So workers 2, 4 and 6 is 2, 2 point something and 5, 0, 0, 1. So 6 is done. Okay. And 6 is 1. 2 point something and 0. Yes, the sum of these 3 can make 5 in the middle. So it could be 2.5, 2.5 or 2.6, 2.4, whatever. 2 and 1 are making 3 anyway. So these are in service. Okay, so that is the work that I wanted to do prior to moving to the questions. So we have figured out that who all are working in sales, who are working in services and who are working in production. And now I think we are ready to get on to the questions. So the first question to which department does the worker 3 belong? We surely know that. Worker 3 belongs to production and that is first option. Question 2, difference in the login hours of worker 1 and 8 taken together in the afternoon. Okay, so in the afternoon worker 1 and 8, okay, 1 and 8. We already know that the sum of these two is going to be 1.5, okay. So 1.5 and 
टू एंड सिक्स अबाउट टू एंड सिक्स ऑल्सो वी नो दैट द सम ऑफ दीज इज गोइंग टू बी फाइव वी इंडिविजुअली डू नॉट नो वॉट दिस इज टू पॉइंट सिक्स और टू पॉइंट फोर और टू पॉइंट वन और टू पॉइंट जीरो फाइव आई डोंट नो दैट बट आई श्योरली नो दैट वर्कर्स टू एंड सिक्स टूगेदर डू फाइव आवर्स इन दी आफ्टरनून सो यू नो दैट द डिफरेंस इज थ्री पॉइंट फाइव इट इज बिटवीन इट इज मोर देन थ्री so fourth option clearly okay question 3 comes up with some additional information it says that if each worker is given a t-shirt bearing a number equal to the square of its identification number then the difference between the sum of the t-shirt numbers of all the workers in sales sales means this this and this so it's workers 178 minus service 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 2 square 4 square 6 square so let us see it's uh, 64 Plus fifty, one hundred fourteen minus, and this is thirty six, sixteen fifty two and four fifty six. This is fifty eight, so it is between forty and sixty. So we have the answers of all the three numbers. Basically, it was more about observation and detailing rather than a lot of analytical skills are not used in these kind of sets. So we have done a couple of other sets also of other difficulty levels like this one. so i hope you liked the set i hope you liked the work i hope you liked the approach and guys uh, in the end thank you so much for so guys thank you so much for showering your love and blessings in the in terms of your comments likes views and subscriptions on our youtube channel so guys if you really like our efforts and want to encourage us then please do subscribe to our channel so see you again very soon in video number 46 till then take good care of yourself stay safe and keep rocking this is mayank rat singh signing off see you again